Hey, hello, my name is Mendel Beidelei and I'm a mixing mastering engineer and a composer from the Netherlands. I'm here to show you today the new Oolong guitar synth from West Forest, now available at Plugin Alliance. Here we go. All right, so here we are in a Cubase project of mine and over here I have loaded up Oolong the acoustic synth from West Forest. Now, before we go into more talking, let's first take a listen. So as you can tell, that's very bright. Uh, I love how that sounds. I like bright uh, acoustic guitars, bright strings. So this is definitely in my taste. Very cool. Now let's go through some of the features here on the Oolong. All right, so let's start with one of the features that I find uh, actually one of the most interesting things. So I have an iPad here, which is basically my MIDI controller and I have one set up to mod wheel. So watch what happens when I change the mod wheel. So you can see that the guitar pick moves, right? And it actually changes the entire sound. So when I play an E minor chord, for example. Okay, now listen, so I'm gonna change the mod wheel, but keep playing the E minor chord. How cool is that? So it actually sounds, because I'm a guitar player, as you can probably tell, that like it becomes thinner sounding, but it, that's, that's, you could use it like in a very creative way. Like you could play something like this um, when some pads going on. And experiment with that. I mean, the most important thing of create, with creating music, in my opinion, is, is be creative, like create something. This is, so cool in my opinion. Yeah, very cool. Now over here you can see neck fretting positions. So as you probably know, or if you're a guitar player or a musician, you know you can play the exact same notes on different parts of the fretboard, which is not possible like on the piano. So the, the, the like different octaves can be played on the exact same position or exact same note on different positions. And it will sound different, which is very important. So with the neck fretting position, um, it's, it's, it's actually pretty cool simulated how the same note um, sounds different. So the same thing, when I play like a C chord for an example, and now I'm gonna put this all the way up Can you hear how that one sounds different? Well, let's like move a couple of them up the fretboard. It becomes a bit more chimier even. Versus when I would put all of them back to the left, like on zero. Different sound, like not worse, or, but just, just different, which is very cool. So you can definitely get some really creative tonal options with this. Very, uh, very impressive, very, very cool. Okay, so when you look to this area over here, you can see DI, mic direct, and mic ambient. And these have total, like total, different tonal characters. So for an example, this is just the uh, DI. Right? So this is what Mike Direct sounds like.
And this is what mic ambient sounds like. And how I like to do it is put both of Mic Direct and DI around 80 or so. Really cool. So you can like do whatever you want with this. Like there are so many combinations you can do with this, like especially with the neck fretting and the DI, blend those together, like experiment with this. Uh, I think the, the possibilities are endless when it comes to this. Now we also have different playing styles. So I've been playing um, with pick technically all along. We also have fingers. Total different character or thumb pick. But for now, I prefer it on pick. Now, um, maybe you could already tell, but when I played, like the the strings were like arpeggiating, and that's because I have a sustain pedal here, which I'm pressing, which is now on hold. But you can also put it on mute, and then what you actually get. Again, totally different sound. Open, muted. Since I like to use it more like in an instrument that goes beyond the acoustic guitar, I put it on hold. So when I press my pedal, I can do something totally different. Now, one feature that I personally really like is over here, the uh, attack knob. So when you take a listen, you can really hear the attack of the pick. When I put this on 100, for example, it becomes a bit more mellow. And that's what I'll be using a tiny bit later. Instead of using a typical um, acoustic guitar, I want to go beyond that and use it as an expansion of my songwriting uh, toolkit basically so that's why i really like that softer uh, attack it's almost like the attack is cut off so again this is with all the attack and now all the way to the other side somewhere in between Comes a bit softer, really cool. And then uh, to round off like this, this tiny walkthrough, we have a bunch of different effects on here. So the flanger makes it really wide, I thought. Like instantly it's into space, right? Sounds so cool. Without flanger. Really cool and wide. Um, we have a typical effects. We have like our delay here. Some compression. Again, multiple options. Um, I think the only limit is your own mind, right? When it comes to this, but yeah. Um, amazing tools. Now let's go into using this as a songwriting tool. 